Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Mom Plays Games here. And today, I want to talk to you guys a brand new game called The Front. Now, before we get into all the details of what The Front is, the video that I has provided is kind of some gameplay that of mine that I have given you guys. Now, remember, this is a PvE server that I'm personally on, but they have other servers as well. So be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. If you guys enjoy this video, if you guys want to see other games like this, if you guys are intrigued by other games, or if you guys, you know, don't care for any other games, and it's just EVE Online, and this and that, like, boom, you know, stick to, stick to that, you know, don't care. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't worry, I can take criticism. I'm not worried about it. Now, this game uh, came up upon me through Steam. I play a lot of city building games. I have a ton of them. Down from They Are Billions to Technica, Sanctum, Medieval Dynasty, and just, I mean, Dyson Sphere. I mean, the list goes on of how many kind of tower defense, city building, simulation games that I play. And sometimes RTSs, FPSs, and all the other stuff. I play a wide variety of games. And if you guys didn't know... Now, being a full-time stay-at-home dad, it is difficult to set a lot of these uh, games up for a good video. But also, like, what hasn't been said about this game already, you know? There's some content creators. When I bought Timberborn, uh, Sky, um, I can't remember the full YouTube channel, uh, Catherine Sky, she, she already made five videos on it. I was like, how did you do that so already? Like, I barely got the game. Um, well, because they had, uh, you know, beta and alpha and all the other stuff, and they have more of the uh, step forward. So a lot of times I'm like, ah, you know, I, I can make a video if I want to. Um, but I'm so busy at being a full-time Salem dad, sometimes it kind of like, mm, maybe I'm good. Um, I do want to bring up more videos of my gameplay of these kind of games. So we're going to start with this one. The Front is a game that came upon my Steam, like I said, for $20. And I'm thinking $20, okay, it's not $50. I'll check it out. Uh, the biggest aspect of this game that br brought me to uh, the attention of this game was the fact that you could build mazes, kind of like Sanctum. If anyone's played Sanctum or Sanctum 2 uh, or Exodus Boralysis, uh, that's a very good idea of this game too. Uh, defense grid, not so much. Maybe the maze part of things, sure. Radiant defense is definitely a key game that they, uh, I would think they took a little bit from, uh, due to the fact you get to shape the path of these, uh, enemies, those waves, and then you get rewarded upon the drops. And at the end of, uh, this video, you can kind of start kind of seeing some of the drops that I got. I got some legendaries, uh, you get some shards and some, uh, skill points and you get this and you get rewards. So then you can take that back and craft it or upgrade your character. It's really cool PVE aspect of the game. Now, where the world, where the real world around you is kind of, it's it's good. Uh, I'm on the island, so there's not many interactions with PVE on the island, which I think is great. But if you go into the other thing, they have PVE bases, like AI bases, and they have a whole compound, and they'll snipe for you, and they'll shoot you. And so you can essentially play a PVE game or a PVP game by yourself with AI, and it, it, it's actually pretty fulfilling. You can set up and raid. And in that aspect, it's kind of like the seven days to die, except you go to them. They don't just find you at night and eat your face off, which is kind of nice, too. So this game not only brought PVE from a personal best type of viewpoint the maze they also bought it from the world pve interactive space to which let's be honest fallout all those other games they've been failing at that so bad of just interacting letting the players interact with the world uh which is kind of the key element of these sandbox mmo uh these uh sandbox open world concepts is that you want to be able to interact with the environment for the most part i mean even satisfactory one of one of my favorite games uh you at least you gotta pet the doggo and train him and then he follows you and then you trap him in a pit that you made that has a ramp and they can't jump up and now you have 500 doggos sitting at a pit maybe that was animal abuse i don't know but anyways moving along um so this game is pretty solid uh and not for what i'm talking about right now um yes it is a big aspect of the game of what you can do uh, think about also 
what you are able to do, right? You have a personal best with a maze. You can interact with the world, get a tank, go ahead out and explore, take over these bases and explore this open world. But you can also do PvP. You can be competitive with your friends. You can you can join a server and kind of arc it out. And I say arc is a very close second game to this game. It's, it's almost, I want to say a clone because that would be disrespectful, but it is a clone of arc without the arc vibes. Um... And it's not a bad thing. Ark is its own unique thing with dinosaurs. And any, if, if they had dinosaurs, I wouldn't buy this game. I'd just go buy the new Ark and be like, what are these guys thinking? It's already been done. What an idiot. But this game, they brought a whole different aspect. And for $20, listen, I'm not going to complain at all. It is a great price for that game. In fact, they probably could have pulled off like $25 to, a 30, to $30. And I don't think many people would have complained. But this is the kicker as to why they actually get my support of the game. And it isn't because of what the game actually technically is by the details. It's because it actually works for my money. And what I mean by that is I bought I Am Future Cozy Apocalypse. And I spent, I think, $30 on that game. And I was excited. The automation, the robots, the collecting, the building, the, the making your apocalypse, uh, apocalypse cozy. And guess what, guys? Out of all the stuff that they've shown, I still only am granted level one. For 30 fucking dollars, there has not been an update. There has not been a post. There hasn't been anything. All right, maybe I'm attacking that company too much. Let's move right along to um, Hammer Ting. Hammer Ting came out. I bought it, and guess what? My CPU is a beast, but their game cannot process more than, like, 200 squares. So there goes the whole end game. I cannot touch the end game because their game gets spazzed up and they just, it just breaks, right? There's a lot of these games coming out like that. Uh, te uh, Technica, really good game, really fun, but there needs to be more. And a lot of these companies now are just bringing you a product, selling you a product of finishedness. When you buy it, it's not finished. And that has pissed me off for the longest time. And I will say, hats off to the front for actually having a game, yes, it has bugs. If you didn't have bugs, I'd be concerned, you know, that you, that you could have released earlier and hopefully you don't go bankrupt by hold it, by releasing a game with no bugs. I'd be like, dude, you could have done that. I don't think many people would complain. You can fix it on the fly, you know. But there are some bugs. Sure, they're annoying, but guess what? I have a game that I've actually been able to play and see the end game so far. I've been able to actually think, okay, yeah, I can play this game. Versus other games I've bought, I installed, I played, I realized the waste of money, and I uninstalled it. There are games, guys, that I have not been back to. If you want a fan base, you need to have a complete game. And that's why I play EVE Online. It's been around, it's going to be around for a while. That's why I play some of these older games. Uh, StarCraft, um, you know, Their Billions is pretty good, you know. Uh, Defense Grid 2, Defense Grid the Awakening. Those games have been around for a while, but they're solid, right? Yes, they need updates. Yes, they have bugs. But guess what? Don't sell me an incomplete game. So, the front. Very worth $20. You guys will not regret $20 getting this game. I would definitely say check it out. And if you guys like this video and want to see some series from scratch, not from where I'm at right now, I'm kind of doing something with what I'm working on now. Guys, like, subscribe, comment down below. Please make an episode one. And I will definitely definitely make a series off the front and that's only if you guys want me to so by the voice of my channel of youtube guys let it be known shall we make some episodes of the front or shall we just stick to eve and making buku isk and kicking ass you guys let me know and also what are the games you guys want to see me play if you guys voted yes for the front what are the games you guys want to see or not see in the future of this channel mind you i'm a full-time stay-at-home dan so setting up a game and setting up a video and setting up the editing is very difficult. So bear with me and that will come in time. So thank you guys for everything. And like I said, the front, definitely worth $20, guys. Check it out. You guys will not be disappointed at all. And until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. All right, guys. Peace.